Hello guys, it's me, Panto6, and I cannot sleep, so I figured, just figured, maybe I would do some, another video, because why not, why the hell not. So the game we're playing here is Verdun, it's a squad-based multiplayer game set in World War One. So I played a little bit of this, I got this from a friend, um, <coughs> thanks to guys over Goblin Traders. You guys can thank Bryce for this, so if you guys know the Goblin Traders, be sure to thank him for sending this over to me. Um, now, I played a little bit of this game, and it is really... It's it's pretty crazy, because it's just brutal. Um, you'll see what I mean. It's, um, it's a one-hit kill, basically. Uh, it's all in trenches, so... Um, <laughs> You really can't get out of the trenches and not expect to die. Because that's going to happen. And I'll show you. I, I died so many times. Um, the mechanics are a little rough. The graphics are okay. Um, nothing is going to blow your mind. What? Hitler? What? Hello! Okay. Uh, alright. So, we have to attack up that way. So, the point is, I think this war is it's ongoing. I don't, I don't know how it's set up. Maybe it's something like Planet Side, where something is always going on. But, as far as I can tell, which I could be wrong, um, I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, come on. Okay, yeah, so that's my team. So I need to get up there with them. Now, what one thing is really exciting me right now... See, I, I've never really played many games based on World War One, And my favorite, like, thing in the Los world attackers! is uh, World War Two, And I love, like, old World War Two shooters. And, um... Apparently, there's a rumor floating on the internets that the new battlefield is supposed to be World War One inspired. So I don't know how true that is. I kind of doubt that rumor is true because everybody's wanting to do these modern shooters or shooters in space. So, oh, where did I even come from? And I do apologize, currently, right now, it's 4.35 a.m. Central Standard Time. And, yeah. Man, that's awesome. Oh, shit! Apparently, our attack lost momentum, so... Our goal is to push the other team back towards their base. Like I said, you don't really move outside of the... Well, you shouldn't move outside of the, um... <laughs> trenches, because that's bad. It's like a bad day. Now, I haven't really unlocked anything, because so I'm not very good at this. And when I say I'm not very good at this, I mean I am terrible at this game. But you can get this on Steam currently, I think it's about $20. Um, it's totally worth it if you're a history buff like me. Hey bro, what is that? So like I said, you're, there's a lot of staying in the trenches. You're not really going to move outside of these. Because if you, as soon as you go out into the battlefield, you're pretty much fucked. For the most part. You can, I mean, I don't know. It just depends how good of a player you are. And you definitely can't play us like Call of Duty or anything like that. It's the weapons are... Whoa! Shit! 
weapons are a little way too slow for that. But it does look like there is regenerating health. Okay, so I'm gonna make it through to try to go through the trenches here without getting caught by the enemy. Maybe, just maybe I might have a chance. But yeah, it's definitely a fun game. I don't have too much to say about it, but let's just play it. Just see how it goes. Play a, f play a few rounds. Just one hit. I don't. I don't even know where it's coming from, honestly. <laughs> what the fuck? That is awesome. I love ragdoll physics. It's amazing. Especially when it glitches out. Oh! Just caught those guys on fire. I didn't know you can get flamethrowers on here, but apparently you can. Now you know. So you can definitely get hurt by getting into the barbed wire, so... Realism. Man, I don't want to go out of here. I just know I'm going to get murdered. But I would be kind of excited to see if Battlefield went... To, um... World War II or World War One. I, I would love to see how that would look. What the fuck? Are you serious? If for some odd reason earlier during during the stream, I was able to stream for maybe like 20 minutes at most. I am so sorry. And for some odd reason, every time I start a game, I try CSGO, H1Z1, and automatically start flickering. I don't know why. It was a black screen. It stopped doing, and it started, started flickering. This was after like a Steam update. So I'm assuming the Steam update kind of screwed it up. But as soon as I took my uh, took the games off Crossfire, well, well turned off Crossfire, the game started working just fine. And I've never had that problem before. So I'm thinking something jacked up somewhere. But I'm about, I am due for getting um, some upgrades. Actually, I'm well past due. So I'm thinking once I get the um, get the money and everything, once I'm caught up, I think I'm gonna move to two 390Xs and take it from 16 to 32 gigs of RAM. We'll see though. I also need to get some hard drive space. What are you doing, Ender? What's wrong, buddy? So my cat, well, me and my fiance's little white cat, we, her name's Loki. Um, she's really tiny. She, she's just, we consider her a kitten still. But since this morning, we woke up to her having babies. So she had two little kittens today. Well, two and a half. Because half of the other, <laughs> half of one of them was, well, looked like it was bitten in two. I'm not 100% sure on that. What the fuck? Are you serious? But these matches, they, they'll go on forever. Um, it really does kind of remind me of um, Planet Side. Um, I mean, 
I could be wrong, but this is what it reminds me of. Okay. Yeah, she had two little kittens, one little black one, one little light one. The, um... I think World War One was all about the trenches. Um, the worst thing on the enemy line was um, definitely machine guns or Gatling gun. So I fired. Prepare for enemy counter attack. so bad um, like I, I'm worried it won't but if it doesn't then it doesn't maybe it might be something that happens in the future but I'm not going to give up on it that's for sure um, it's how I see it like all the bad things that's happened in the last you know year or so you know I think that it's time to turn that around um, I mean things could get worse but I'm aiming to make things get better. It's what I'm hoping anyways. Things should get better soon. So they're hold looks like our guys are holding the line. But yeah, I, I, I think there's going to be some really good things happening. Well, happening, hopefully. And, you know, there's always going to be that, that rough spot. But that's, a, that's pretty much... Fuck! That's pretty much how good growing up is. You're always going to have a rough spot from time to time. I really like to get a hold of that flamethrower. Oh shit! Shit! Oh my god! Already! Okay, I need to get into the trench. Like, if you guys ever get a chance, like, fighting in trenches is scary. Like, it's insanely scary what these soldiers went through.
move, 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 move. Seriously? Again, if you guys are just first time checking out this channel and you're wondering what the hell is bits and pieces, um, I, I talk about this on every video. You guys might get tired of hearing about it, but um, the best one of the best ways of getting something in somebody's head is repetitiveness. But um, bits and pieces is a game store. It's a project that I'm currently trying to work on, trying to get the funding for, um, to open up in, uh, Marshall, Illinois. Um, what it's going to be, it's going to be a card game, a video game, well, it's going to be video games, card games, board games, comic books and more, as well as, you know, weekly tournaments, um, movie nights, and hopefully a small little, little diner. Um, now, the whole purpose of it, not only is it, it's, it's going to be good, yes, for money and stuff, and maybe to help secure, um, our future, but this is also going to be really beneficial to gamers as a whole, and why I speak by that is, um, those who know me, I have, um, issues with anxiety and depression really bad for the most part. I take medicine on a daily basis for it. I know a few people with um, throwing their lives away um, and it sucks. It really does. And what I was wanting to offer is a place for people that suffer from anxiety orders, disorders, um, as well as abuse and other things like that. A safe haven and a place for them to come and hang out with people that's just like them and have a place where people actually care and will talk to them. Um, now, it's all about fun. It's also, we'll be doing things like charity events, like food drives, clothing. Um, you know, I just don't want to see people go on the foul. I hate it. I hate the feeling that somebody um, is going to go without something. So... That's the main reason, that's the reason I've always wanted to open up some kind of game store. I've always wanted to make my mark in the gaming industry. Um, you know, it's very slim chance that I will, um, make it on YouTube, but that's a possibility. It could happen. But I really want this to work. Uh, Boogie2988, he's, uh, tweeted it out. Um, I've myself to uh, I've had people just trying to get it noticed, so I'm not saying you have to, um, give me all your money. The only thing I'm asking is if you don't, um, then it, just be sure to share it. Just share it to your friends, your family, or people you would think that would be interested. And another thing you could do as well is, um, if you know about it, that's having these kind of problems, you should definitely talk to them and help them out, because we, we, as people, tend to take things for granted, and we don't really miss things until they're gone. So, definitely, definitely, definitely be sure to help them out. Again, um, as always, be sure to like and subscribe. And that would help the channel grow. And the more people we get, the more fun fun we'll have. But let's go ahead and play another... Let's put about 15, 20 more minutes in this. And I'm going to hop off here. Let this render overnight. Hopefully. Okay, I remember... That last time I came through here... Dick Holes, uh... Came up here too. So, I'm going to have to go through here and try not to get dead. Alright, I'm going through the lines. Going through. Don't mind me. Just trying to come on through it. Okay, apparently I can't go through that far. Any 
Because it's just literally one hit kill for the most part. further than that, um, Wolfenstein on PC, but, um, Medal of Honor, the original and Underground was my big, big games I played, um, then I played Frontline and, you know, all the Call of Duty games, but World War II has always been my, like, favorite, favorite world, well, the war to talk about, my favorite part of history, um, and I could talk about it for hours, which I'm not going to. Okay. So what do we have here? Yeah. Okay. They're gonna come through here. Yep. Just like I thought they would. No, never mind. I'm wrong. They're here. Bastard. I think that's going to do it. Um, again, my name is Panto6. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking us out. This game is Verdun, um, or Verdun, um, you can buy this on Steam. Um, definitely, if you guys, uh, hang out over the Goblin Traders, or you know of the Goblin Traders, hop on their channel, tell them I said hi, and, uh, be nice. But anyways, guys, thank you so much, and like I said, check out the GoFundMe thing. If you guys like it, definitely, you know, support it. And I definitely love you guys. 